Hello everybody, welcome to Project Eden's Garden Hunger Simulator. Now this is just a fun little idea since Eden's Garden is coming out very, very soon. So I kind of just threw the teams together based on how I downloaded all the images off of Google. So that's just how the teams are going to be. And we'll see, maybe this will predict all the death orders. That'd be pretty funny if it did. I don't think it will, but <laughs> let's just hop right into it. Damien shoots an arrow at Wolfgang, but misses and kills Winato instead. No, gosh darn it, Damien. Jesus, you don't have to take truth bullets to another level there. Kai takes a couple of explosives near the cornucopia. Oh, boy. Desmond grabs a shield from the ground. Okay, fair enough. Mark scores a bar mace <laughs> in from inside the cornucopia. Jean Lamar grabs a backpack, but it's not zipped. And most of the supplies falls out. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think you might want to go back and pick some of that stuff up. You know, we need it, you know. Ulysses runs away with a sword and some rope. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, so I'm sorry if I butchered it. Alois and Eve both go for the same axe. Elise gives up and retreats. Oh, <laughs> who gave the ultimate liar an axe? Ingrid scores a bar mace from inside the cornucopia. Grace Clus is a first aid kit and runs away. Toshiki takes a spare leaning on the cornucopia. Also, I'm probably going to butcher like most of these names. Um, I'm not exactly how to pronounce them yet. I can pronounce Jet. Jet. Jet clutches the first aid clit and runs away. Oh, so cool. So now they can both heal. Let's see how these two are doing. Cassidy breaks Diana's nose from a basket of bread. What the heck? Cassidy just freaking stream sniped her face, I guess. Tuzu takes a spare leaning on the cornucopia. Oh my god. The freaking headmaster has a weapon now. <laughs> this ain't gonna end well. Mira snatches a bottle of alcohol and a blade. Damien tries to sleep in order to reduce stress. Wolfgang camouflages himself in a cave type area. Kai tries to kill a squirrel with an arrow. <laughs> Dang, he couldn't kill the squirrel. I guess he couldn't get that funny content for YouTube, I suppose. Desmond convinces Mark to not kill himself, but then he is able to kill him instead. Oh, of course the freaking marksman kills a person. I'm not surprised by that. Gene tries to kill Usali, but he just but he is able to escape. Oh boy. Eloise brings her ankle while running away from Eve. Eve, what are you doing? Why are you going after her? Ingrid is pricked by a thorn while picking berries. Grace throws a rock at Tojushiki from a hiding in a tree. Jesus. Jeff picks non-poisonous fruit from a tree. Oh, you have to specify that, you know, just because, you know, it might, he might eat a poisonous fruit. I was going to eat with the mask over his face, too. Cassidy climbs a tree to make a resting spot. Diana picks non-poisonous fruit from a tree. Okay, I guess they just know what fruit is not poisonous. Tozo searches for water and firewood, and Mira sees smoke rising from the distance and wonder who's responsible. I mean, judging by... The last prompt is probably Tozo. All right, we're heading into the first night here. Damien Matsu thinks about winning and what life would be like. He's like, I don't want to go back to my normal life with normal people. Wolf game wounds Kai in a confrontation, but spares his life. There's a lot of attacking here. Desmond thinks about winning and what life would be like. Ah, so they're doing the same thing as uh, Damon. Gene stays awake all night on pure adrenaline. <laughs> I feel that. And I do be like that sometimes. Ursula receives a hatchet and water from an unknown sponsor. Eloise falls asleep to the sound of people screaming. <laughs> That's what she falls asleep to? Oh, what is this? Why are there so many people together? Eve and Gride run into Grace, Tojimi, and Jeff and make a temporary peace. Yeah. Cassidy and Diana tell stories about their districts and lives to each other. See, they're nice and peaceful. Everyone else is after each other's blood and stuff. And then these two, they're just having a nice conversation. Tozo attempts to climb a tree, but falls in a mirror with a pointed store, killing the boat. <laughs> oh my gosh, the both masterminds are dead. <laughs> killing game is no more. Let's go. We outruled the killing game, I guess. Damien, Wolfgang, and Kai hunt for other tributes. Damien strangles D Jean for after engaging in an argument. Jesus Christ. <laughs> of course, the Markman's like, you have a different opinion than me? Die. <laughs> Ulysses defeats Elise in a fight, but spares her life. Eve overhears Ingrind and Grace talking in the distance. They might be fighting. They probably are. Doji practice her knife throwing and archery. Where did she get a knife and a bow and arrow? Oh, well, I'm sure they're probably laying around somewhere. Jeff tries to sleep in order to reduce stress. Cassidy and Diana split up to search for much needed resources. See, these two work together super well. They have nice conversations. They're well working as a team. Everyone else is killing 
yelling at each other and falling from trees and dying. <laughs> Damien sets up camp for the night. Wolfgang poisons Kai's drink, but Kai knowingly switches the drink and Wolfgang dies. Oh, the ultimate influencer. <laughs> like, my friend tried to poison me, so I returned the favor and killed him instead. Oh no, he died. Gone wrong. <laughs> Desmond usually tells stories about their distincts and lives of to each other. Okay, so now Desmond is not killing. Now he wants to be peaceful. Elise cries herself to sleep. Honestly, I would too if I was in this situation. Eve falls asleep in a tree. <laughs> okay, I guess. Ingrid starts a campfire with materials on the ground. Grace also cries herself to sleep. <laughs> Tojin involuntary passes out from sheer exhausting. Fair enough, I guess. Jeff receives medical supplies and nuts from an unknown sponsor. Cassidy tends to Deanna's wounds. Aw, she, she's trying to help her out. Damien makes a wooden spear from tree branches. Oh gosh, what is he gonna do with that? Hopefully not kill another person. Kai receives a healing ornament from a sponsor. Desmond Hall sings a song while searching for food sources. He finally finds some wild berries. <laughs> he's just casually singing after what he's done. Usuli questions his sanity. <laughs> Usuli, Eve, and Ingrind are attacked by a herd of vicious dogs. Oh gosh. Grace dreams about home back at her district. Tojibi can't handle the stress and decides to commit suicide. Aww. That's sad. Jeff Dawson chases Cassidy. Diana fishes in the water for some food. Okay, well, Jeff, leave Cassidy alone because then Diana's going to be really sad. Oh, gosh. You know it's always going to be a fun time when there's a bunch of people. Damien, Kai, run into Desmo, Usuli, and Elon make a temporary peace. Oh, there's another big meeting. Eve, Ingrind, Grace, and Jeff Dawson joke with each other. They're just having a nice comedy show here. What? Cassidy punches Diana off a cliff during an argument. What? Oh, the betrayal. They were close buddies this whole game, and then freaking Cassie just finally just had enough of her, I guess. Oh, that stinks. Oh, it's so sad. I thought they were best friends forever. I guess not. Damon picks some non-poisonous fruit from a tree. Kai questions his sanity. Desmond sees smoke rising in the distance and wonders who's responsible. Probably him. He probably lit a few people on fire. Usuli overhears Alois and E talk in the distance. Ingrind tends to Grace's wounds. How nice. Jeff questions his sanity. Cassidy dies of the sanitary. Okay, so <laughs> I guess that was Diana's revenge beyond the grave. Being like, you kill me, now you're gonna die <laughs> the next day. Damon, Kai, and Desmo sing together, hoping for the best. How nice. Usuli, Eloise, Eve, Ingrid, and Grace aggressively track down and kill Jeff. Gee, what? What did Jeff do to deserve five people going after him? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Poor Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Damien rests in the revine and finds comfort thinking about his, her father. Kai, Desmos, and Uzuli start fighting, but Desmos runs away as Kai kills Uzuli. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Eloise and Eve create a fort out of sticks and leaves. Well, at least they're having a good time. The others are not so much. Ingrind kills Grace after her medical supplies and food. What? Didn't she help Grace, like, last night? I guess it's like, okay, you're too much trouble dead. Damien strangles Kai after engaging in an argument. Oh my gosh, it's always about arguments. I guess Kai called him like not the ultimate debater. He's like, I'm actually really good at debating. I can use my hands. That's the ultimate debate weapon and just kills him. Oh my gosh. Desmond sets off a string of explosive killing Eloise. Oh my gosh. Desmond, calm down. This is like the fourth or third person that you've <laughs> killed at this point. Eve is repeatedly woken by nightmares. I mean, I would be too if Desmond and all the others were killing each other, but mostly Desmond. Ingrid cooks her some squirrels and enjoys eating more than she thought. Desmond dies from infection. Oh gosh, I guess that is Kai's revenge from beyond the grave to get Damon. Desmond Hall receives a photo of his family from a sponsor. Oh gosh, you're giving him more motive to kill. <laughs> Eve falls and scrapes her legs while running away from Ingrid. Jeez! I thought Ingrid was going to be the mother figure, but not anymore. She's like, okay, I'm done being the mother figure. I'm just going to kill everyone. I can win this. Desmond dies in his sleep from a deadly infection. Okay, so Damien finally died after killing so many people. That's just how he goes out afterwards, I guess. Eve accidentally slips on a rock and tumbles down a cliff. Oh my. Ingrind feels delirious and forgets where she is. Well, Ingrind is the winner here with two kills. Uh, so Damien's got three kills. I think he got the most kills out of everyone here. So yeah, these are kind of the places. So 
I wonder if maybe this would be the death order. It'd be pretty funny if this was like close to what actually happens when Eden Gardens actually drops. Obviously with more survivors, of course, but yeah, that was kind of fun. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, you know what to do. And of course, I will see you on the next one. Bye!